guys, so literally for the past few months everyone has been asking me to do a makeup vlog so I'm attempting to do one today for this look right here. Um, just kind of an everyday, kind of what I would wear to class or whatever look. Um, I do show you guys how I do some of my makeshift contouring. Anybody that's an actual makeup artist is probably going to like laugh at me. Um, but yeah, so before I did this look, Sorry, my face is getting really washed out because it's super bright in front of my window. But before I started filming, I did put on my foundation, well, primer, foundation, um, eyeshadow primer, and I did my brows. So I'll go ahead and show you what I use for those, and then we will get started on the tutorial. So if you want to see how to get this look, please keep watching. All right, you guys. So here's what I use for my primer, foundation, eyeshadow primer, all that good stuff. I use the Revlon Photo Ready perfecting primer today uh, Maybelline fit me foundation matte and poreless in the 130 beige color uh, tried to focus here it didn't work but that is the 130 buff beige color uh, and then urban decay eyeshadow primer potion just the original and then for my brows I use the Anastasia dip brow pomade in dark brown along with the corresponding brush that goes with the Anastasia pomade All right, so starting off by doing some concealing, uh, brightening underneath the eyes, and also kind of a mock highlight. I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle Treatment. This is in the neutralizer shade, so going underneath the eyes, on the top of the tops of the cheekbones in kind of a triangle shape. Uh, then down the bridge of my nose, onto the forehead, above the cupid's bow, chin, and then underneath the cheekbones. It looks really, really funny before you blend it in. Uh, it's supposed to look like that and then I just took my beauty blender and put a little bit of water on it just to dampen it You do need to dampen your beauty blender. Otherwise it won't work the same um, In order to blend in the concealer I've tried it with that. I've tried it dry and it just does not work the same at all So blend everything in and don't wipe just dab You'll have to make a bunch of little tiny dabs on your face to blend it all in but don't wipe getting there. Make sure it all looks nice. And then moving on to the contour, I'm using the Cover Effects palette uh, starting with the shade 4 N480. Um, I use the medium palette by the way for the cover effects. And then I'm going to use my MAC 227 brush. Um, it's just a flat brush but this is what I've liked using lately for the contour. This is a cream contour so just putting it along the cheekbones and tops of the forehead. Again, this is going to look really funny, but you'll blend it in. So don't worry, you're not going to look like a tribal person. Unless that's what you want, then just leave it. <laughs> Along the bridge of the nose, well, the outer bridges of the nose to make the nose look more defined. Then a little bit along the jawline, although I will go back over this with bronzer later just because I don't want like a super solid line from the contour. And then again, just taking the beauty blender to blend everything in. Making sure everything, like there's no solid harsh lines because that just looks funny. Sorry, there's a lot of glare from, I sit in front of my window to do my makeup so there's a lot of glare. So that's why I look super washed out. Just trying to move my camera to get a better angle but it didn't quite work. And then, next up just taking some powder, the Makeup Forever HD Finishing Powder and a large airbrush powder brush from Sephora. I'm just going over everything to get a nice matte look. I do prefer for my skin to look matte, um, especially because I have kind of oily skin. If I do, I've noticed if I do a lot of like shimmery highlight, then I just look like my skin is oilier than usual. <laughs> so I just stick to a matte look. So moving on to eyeshadow, the Naked, the original Naked palette, we're gonna start off with the shade Naked. It's a, a light, a light tan color. And then I took a what is this? An airbrush shadow brush from Sephora. i just put this all in the crease. And this did make kind of like a, a more harsh line, but you blend it later, so don't worry about that. Just get it on there. And then after you have Naked on there, uh, go ahead and take a fluffier brush and blend it in. 
making sure there's no harsh lines or anything like that. We don't want harsh lines. And then I took uh, half baked and smog and kind of swirled those two together and put a little bit of that on top of the naked shade just to add a little bit of shimmer, a little bit of dimension, a little bit of depth um, instead of keeping it completely matte. And then next uh, I took oops, um, the Smoky Smudger Brush from the Naked Smoky Palette and I used that to apply Buck, which is a darker tan shade, um, onto the outer crease and then I wrapped it around underneath my lash line. So again, this is gonna look a little bit more of like a harsh line in the outer crease until you blend it and that's okay. So here we are. I'm going underneath the lash line. Uh, I really like shadow under the eye for more of like a, I don't know, it reminds me of like a hazy, a hazy look, does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah, so going under the lash line and again we will be blending this so don't worry. I noticed under my eye I have to build it up a lot more, uh, but then I took that same fluff, fluffy brush and blended it into my crease, uh, trying to keep it more on the outer crease, kind of blending up and out, uh, not bringing too much of it over into the inner crease, blending the lower lash line out a little bit, and then I took the Naked Smoky palette, uh, I took, actually it's my favorite color from the palette, Combust, and I used that fluffy brush again as kind of a transition color to blend in the naked half-baked smog buck combo deal thing <laughs> but yeah the combust is probably my favorite shade in that palette so there is that and then I did a little bit more under the eyes because like I said I do notice that I have to build up my lower lash line a little bit more just to get that hazy effect that I want and then taking the shade 13 from the Naked Smoky palette. It's kind of an ivory color, just did that a little bit on the brow bone, but next I will be showing, I think it's next anyway. Yep, my trick for making your eyebrows look really finished. Um, I took the N20 shade, which is just a light nude shade. You could also use concealer for this. Then took a flat brush and traced along the line of my eyebrows with the N20. Um, and like I said, you could also use concealer. Just makes your eyebrows look more defined. And because it is a lighter color, it brings light into the area. So it just makes your eyebrows look really polished. And blend it all in. And I took Combust again. Not Combust. Yeah, Combust again. And just blended that in so there was no harsh lines with the N20. And then I took Revlon Color Stay Liquid Eyeliner in Brown Black and just made a really, really thin line along the lash line. I didn't want a super noticeable eyeliner look with this, just enough to make the lash line look thicker. Yeah, just drawing a very, very thin line. I really love this eyeliner. Super, super long staying, uh, long lasting, and it's a drugstore brand, it's like $5. But yeah, this is Revlon Color Stay in the color black brown, and the felt tip is also really easy to work with as opposed to a brush if you're new to the land of liquid eyeliners. And then I just went over it with that same brush that I used to do the eyebrow, just to clean up a little bit. And then, next, what am I doing? Okay, taking Kula by Benefit. Uh, it's a bronzer. And just sweeping that lightly along the areas that I contoured using a Sephora contour brush. Uh, this is number 74. And I'm just going along all those areas and then further blending in the jawline into my neck because you do want your face and your neck to be the same color. That's kind of important. That's really important actually. That's like my pet peeve is if your face and your neck are two different colors. Yeah, just going over all the areas that I used the cream contour with before. And then for a little bit of shimmer without looking super oily, I took a little bit of this Sun Bunny by Too Faced. Uh, with the same blush, blush brush, contour brush, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and just did a little bit of that on the tops of the cheekbones, very light, not much at all. I'm looking around for stuff in <laughs> my beauty blender. There it is. Um, I'm making sure everything's blended in. Again, no harsh lines, none of that nastiness. Uh, and I took a little bit of the N20 on the inner corner just to bring a little light into the area since the under eye is so dark. Looking around for stuff again. Oh, okay, and then <laughs> my really sad little lip liner uh, 
It is a Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner. I will put the color in the description below. I'll have to find it because it's super, super worn down. But this is just a natural lip color, really close to my actual lip color. Um, I don't really go for crazy, crazy colors on my lips. It's not my thing. Then taking Makeup Forever lipstick in Rouge Artist Intense in Matte One. Everybody always asks me about my lip color, so that's what it is. I really love this particular brand, along with the Kat Von D lipsticks. Um, they're not slippery, they're not slick. They do have a nice matte look, as you can see, which I like for lips a lot. And then taking some of that neutralizer concealer, just a slight dab on my fingertips and putting it in the center of the lips to give a little bit of an ombre effect. And then instead of gloss, uh, I use the Nivea Lip Butter just to make sure there's no creases because it is more of a matte lip look. I don't want my lips to look cracked or dried out, so that just adds a little bit of moisture back in, but I don't like gloss. Um, and then for eyes, I use my eyelash color and then this telescopic carbon black mascara from L'Oreal. Um, I like to, I wanted to show you guys a lot of the, you know, drugstore products that I use, not necessarily super expensive makeup from Sephora, which I do love, but I know that that stuff can get really expensive, so I wanted to show you guys some of my favorite drugstore products to use that I do use on a daily basis and have had a lot of success with. So that mascara, I really like it. Uh, makes your lashes look nice and long, but also gives them a little bit of thickness, not a whole lot. I do kind of like the spindly, spidery eyelash look. Um, I don't have particularly thick or particularly long eyelashes. I'd say mine are pretty average, but I love them anyway. But yeah, this mascara is super awesome, and the video is about to cut out because my camera is about to die. So thank you guys for watching, and you'll see the finished product.